Hello, everybody. <clears throat> yes, I'm out in the daylight hours. Ooh, spooky. I just wanted to come on briefly and give an update on the um, Victorian, the Altered Victorian workshop that some of you pre-ordered. And so I just wanted to let you know that all of you that already purchased the workshop, that if you go over into Etsy uh, where your purchase was made, and there will be a link. And in that link, um, it will take you over to the workshop. So I just wanted to let you guys know. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Janice. Yeah, so I thought I would just like, you know, let everybody know at one time <laughs> that the remake of the course has been completed. I am so exhausted. <laughs> And all of the videos are up. So if you want to go over and um, check them out at your leisure, they are there waiting for you. There's a total of 20, 22 videos. So, um, yeah, it's we're making three different, uh, three different journals. And so... Um, it took a while, but it was a lot of fun. So I think there's like over seven hours or something like that. A little over seven hours of edited video. So, um, yeah. But yeah, you guys, I am so tired. I can't even put two words together right now. You think I have problems before. I got problems now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So. So when you do all that, you know, it's one thing to do all the videos, then you have to edit them and then you have to upload them. And it took me, I was done doing the actual recording of the videos by Saturday afternoon. And literally it took me all day Sunday just to get them up. Um, so <laughs> that was crazy. It. And I have direct, I'm not even working on Wi-Fi. I'm like plugged in and it still took that length of time for all those videos. So um, I'm so glad that's be behind us completely. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know, Janice. I have an excuse for once. Can you believe it? Usually I don't have an excuse for all this complaining, but I did this time. But I just wanted to let you guys know, because I know that most of you that purchased, you know, will catch this video and um, you'll know to double check inside of your um, Etsy there in the messages and your link will be there to to the um, to the course. But um, it was a lot of fun. I'm telling you guys, it came out so pretty. Look at this one. You know. I, I'm really happy. If I if I hadn't been pleased with the outcome, I would have really been bummed. But um, I like how they came out. So I'm really pleased about that. Also, which was kind of fun, I got my Somerset Studio. Hello, hello. Look how cool. I got that one about, it's been almost a week now, but I really haven't had a lot of time to get into it. I was teasing Susan because she gets the um, subscription also. And the cover is all pink. I mean, it's a muted pink, but boy, it's all pink. <laughs> um, oh, you want me to rest up? Oh, you know, I can't rest up. You know why? Because I just looked at yesterday while I was getting all this completed. I look at the date. It's the 25th. I should have already by the 21st, 22nd. I should have already had um, November's kit out. <laughs> so I'm already behind on that. So that's, that's what I'm working on now because oh, we're supposed to be doing Egypt. So, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here you go. We're getting there. <laughs> we're getting, I told you guys we were doing Egypt and, um, um, so I, I do have some of it done 
And so we're going to be making this box. Really what uh, I'm concentrating on this one is to show you a different technique. We're going to be doing gold leafing. And um, so I'm going to take you through the process. Uh, a lot of you may not um, know or remember that I used to be a gilder in my other life. <laughs> um, I, I gilded um, hand carved. I didn't do the hand carving, but there was a hand carver that would make these beautiful um, frames for museums and for high-end artists. And I was one of the gilders that would do the gilding on the frames. So I learned from some really, really, really good people. And I haven't done it in a long, long time. But I thought, you know, when I think of different things about Egypt, of course, you know, there's the, the earthy part. But then when you think of all of the findings that they've made, it's very ornate. It has gold and encaustic work all over what they have discovered. And so I thought, well, you know, I've got the encaustic course. If people are interested in, in learning about that. And I thought this. This next month, I think we're just going to dive in on the basics of how to gild. So I made the box, um, you know, it's made out of cardboard. And then we're going to gild the, um, the top. I think you can kind of see that. We're going to antique it like we would antique all of our um, frames to make them look like they, you know, just weren't made yesterday. And so I'll show you that. And, um, and that will be pretty cool. So anyway, so that's what we'll, we'll do next month. Um, making the box, building the box. And um, I'll be sending, there's a, a certain type of size that you use. A lot of people, when you watch them working with um, gold leaf or metal leaf, they will just use regular glue. And, you know, if you if that's not your, you know, things that you do every day, that's just fine. But um, there's a certain sizing that's made just for gold and metal leaf. And so I'm going to enclose this little container. It may not look like much, but to make sure that there was enough, I filled it up to the top. And then did this, and I still have the whole thing practically left in there. So you'll be getting some of the sizing to put this on. You'll be getting the gold leaf to do it. You'll be getting the pattern to make the box. You'll be getting the pattern to make this. And um, and we're going to be all set to go to make something kind of a little unique, a little special. Um, yes, it was very common to gild on plaster and on encaustic way back in the day. Um, it looks really pretty. I've done that on some of my um, plaster covers that I've made. I put some gilding on it. It looks really nice, you guys. No kidding, it really does. Um, and then I'm going, we're gonna be making, um, right now this is just, you know, I just painted it, but there's all kinds of things you could do inside with paper or paint or you know whatever you want to do then um i have this printout that'll be included where if you choose you can put these here on the side or and then i fussy cut these out to put here on the corners i think that looks kind of cool that's very typical drawings that you'll they found in the caves and in artifacts so um I think that'd be kind of cool. And then we'll make a um, sort of a, what do you call it? A scroll, I guess. I'm trying to mimic some papyrus. It's 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 very crude and it's not going to look like real papyrus, but we're still going to have fun. It's all about having the fun. So that will be included also. And, um, and then I'm going to include some pictures like from the what would that be? Probably like the 20s and 30s, maybe turn of the century kind of sort of uh, when it was extremely popular for all the the rich, you know, hoity toities to go to Egypt 
And this is when they used to let them climb up the, the pyramids and uh, they would have lunch on top. It was crazy times. So we'll have a few pictures on that. So depending on what approach you're going to put into your project, if you're just going to make some things that you would think that you would find in the tombs, or if you just want this to be like a little memory box of for your imaginary vacation, and then you can put all those pictures or make a little small little journal or a scroll or something like that. That's the plan. <laughs> that is the plan. Who knows what will actually happen, but that is the plan. So in addition to all the other stuff, um, this is what I've been working on. I hope to get this out sometime this week to you guys so that we can work on it. We probably, well, not probably, I know. Let me look at the calendar here. I already know that you guys aren't, uh, you won't get it by the first Wednesday of the month because the first Wednesday of the month is already next Wednesday, not this coming Wednesday, but um, in a week. So by the time I get this all out and able to mail it to you, you probably won't have it by the third, which is the first um, Wednesday. That's okay. You guys usually don't work along with me. You probably watch what I do and then you work on your kit later. So it'll all work out. Um, let me see. I don't have Susan here. I didn't even ask her because I know she's busy. Let me see. Let me let me look here. See if I need to answer anything. What is that stencil dip? A new way to play about lower right. What? Oh, cut it out. I am not edgy. I'm not reading you the magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Forget it, you guys. <laughs> I'm not promoting Somerset Studio right now. <laughs> what else? Um, I guess that's it. I think that's about it, you guys, unless you have any specific questions. That's what's on the agenda. That's what's going on. <laughs> Lisa, you're too funny. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so that's what's going on. Again, I just want to encourage you to go over if you already purchased it and it's there, it's ready for you to, to alter your, your albums. Um, yeah, Lisa, now you have to go buy it. Let me see. You know, I haven't, I haven't had time to really, really look at it. Page 46. So I'm not being evasive. I, I honestly don't know what they're talking about. There you go. I still don't know what they're talking about. A mad scientist or a stencilist. I still don't know. I guess they're just, I don't know. I'm not even going to say. <laughs> I'm not even going to say because I honestly don't know. That's it. So you usually you can tell by pictures. I can't tell my pictures. So if this entails me having to read, it'll be a while before I know what they're talking about. But they're obviously dipping, dropping, stenciling, whatever it is they're doing with different paints to create this. So, yeah, I guess you will have to. <laughs> Let's see. Was watching a tour of subterranean tombs the other day. Some are big enough to, oh, yeah. Well, because lots of times, well, from what I remember, a lot of them were big enough so that all of their wealth, all their treasures would be buried with them. I mean, because they thought it was, I don't know what they thought, going to go with them somewhere else. I'm not sure. But that's why so many people throughout the years have, gone in to try and rob these places because they wanted to take all of their wealth with them so yeah very interesting okay i think i've had my piece i think i've shared what i wanted to share and um i will see you guys wednesday in the meanwhile i will be putting together what's going to go inside of November's kit, and we will be all set to rumble.
or whatever whatever we're going to do in Egypt. I'm not sure what we're going to do in Egypt, but we'll be ready. Uh, I need to find some Egyptian music. <laughs> Egyptian music. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Thanks again, guys, for all of your patience and understanding with all the mishap of all those, um, the workshop. And um, and I'm just so glad it's it's done. Hey, I didn't even see you were here. How are you doing? I don't know. I missed some people here. I missed. I missed. Okay. Okay. So I will see you guys um, Wednesday and we will talk soon. And you guys, I'll take care. Try and rest up or have fun doing whatever it is that you do that helps you to relax. Because that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> okay. See you guys Wednesday. Thanks again. Bye.